This is June from Planet June and today I'm going to show you how to crochet narrow pointed tubes which you can use in amigurumi to make things like spikes, legs, horns and tails. When you're crocheting amigurumi you'll usually make six stitches into your magic ring to begin the first round. But if you're making a pointy or narrow piece you'll want fewer stitches to give you a pointier tip. So here I've only made four stitches into the magic ring. I'm going to pull it lightly closed, but not tight just yet. And you'll see we end up with a semicircle of stitches. Four, three, two, and one. So I'm going to begin round two into the first stitch of round one. And I'll single crochet into each stitch around. Two. Three, four. Now I'm at the end of round two, we can pull the magic ring tightly closed. With a tiny piece like this, it's very difficult to turn it right side out. The easiest point to do it is actually right now, after pulling the magic ring tightly closed and before beginning round three. To turn it inside out, Gently peel the stitches back, starting from the last stitch you made and working backwards around the circle. It's a slow process, so just keep pulling back around the edges gently and the stitches will gradually reverse until the magic ring pops through to the front and you can see all the V-shapes around the edge of the piece. Once you've got it right side out, Roll the piece between your fingers to help set the stitches the right way out. And now you're ready to begin round three with the piece right side out. Continue to crochet around the tube and you'll find it's all relatively easy from here, even with this tiny four stitch tube. Just keep rotating the work and single crochet in the next stitch. The finished tube is very thin and neat 